Hey guys, welcome to today's Insta Forex show of the day, where we use technical analysis to identify high probability setups. So for today, we'll be taking a look at Go. And the reason why I want to take a look at Go is because you can see that price is actually on an ascending trend line, right? Was on an ascending trend line. And you know, this ascending trend line is pretty valid because the reason is because you can see that it's tested numerous times and bounced off this ascending trend line quite a few times, right? So you can see that price had recently broken out of this trend line, right? Have retested our support of the ascending trend line, right? So what we're looking for is that I expect price to dip further, right? So I want to judge my sell entry. I want to identify my sell entry price, my take profit price, and my stop loss price. Okay. So my stop loss price will most probably be at a nice swing high level at one seven nine five point eight two, right? A stop loss has to be very tight. Right, and it must have a very good risk reward ratio, and also must be a place to invalidate your idea. Right, so if let's just say price move up here, then you know that price is not going to continue dipping down. Instead, it's trading sideways, right, because it's a, a very clear movement, price movement. Okay, so the next thing you want to look for is your sell entry price, right, because the move have already play, been playing out, right. So you can see that our sell entry price can be at least graphical overlap support area. Okay, so this is my sell entry price. Next, I want to determine my take profit price. My take profit, profit price will be validated, right, by probably a graphical overlap support, right, must be a very strong support level, right, and also, right, it must be, have a very good risk reward ratio, right. So for this, because the move already played out, you know, you can see that there's, uh, it's really dipping, right, so you need to find a very good support level to find a very good risk reward ratio. So maybe I put it here, you can see that this is a good graphical overlap support area. All right, so I expect price to continue its deep downwards, right? Our stop loss is placed at an area, right, to invalidate our claim at a graphical swing high, right? So I put this as a stop loss and my take profit level at this area, okay? So next, I want to use Fibonacci retracement and projection you know, to determine my levels. You know, are they strong? Are they valid, right? So you can see that um, our sell entry price is at about 38.2, while well, our take profit price will give me a second, I think I put it wrongly because of pullback support. So it's around this area, right? So it should be at 61.8%. You can see that, you see this area right here, right? It's a clear overlap, okay? So the next one, you use your projection. Wait, let me remove all the respective, you know, not, not important stuff. So I'll keep 30.2 and 61.8. Put it here. Maybe this might be better. Yep, this is better. Okay, today 0.2 and 61.8. Okay, next you want to use Fibonacci projections, right? To identify your respective areas too. Right, so projections will be three points, right? As I said, I said before many, many times, 78.6 and about 70.6% projection is a very valid for sell entry price. So you're going to keep a 70.6. Right, so you want to look for three points, right? A very clear up and down. Right, very clear three points, area to find all your projections. Okay, I don't think this is good. Okay, so this is what I'm trying, what I'm trying to do, right? So find three points and let's take it. Okay, so I don't think this is good too. Okay, let me find anything else. Is there any small ticks that I can use? All right, I can use this 161.8%, all right? Okay, so maybe you can use it, check it graphically, right? Define if it's a good area, right? You can see that it bounce off here, bounce off here. Okay, it's a very good area. Next, you want to use any indicators, you know, to justify your bias. So I'll put this as cell entry, give a box and my Ichimoku cloud. Right, so you can see your price is currently trading under the Ichimoku clouds. So it's a pretty bearish trend. Right, so your, your, your indicators actually support your bias. So in conclusion, right, my stop loss is placed at 1795.52, which is a graphical swing high. My sell entry is placed at 1781.70, right, which is you know near our current price levels, right? And then also our 78.6% Fibonacci projection and 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. While the profit level is placed at 1755.82, which is also a graphical overlap 
you know, support level. Okay, so which is also 161.8% Fibonacci projection and 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. So the reason why I think it's bearish is because it's trading under the Ichimoku clouds. My indicator supports it, right? So that's the reason why I think price is going to dip further. Okay, with this, I come to my end of my Insta Forex show today and I hope to catch you in the next one.